Horse lovers, we have a major problem with our horse barn. So we purchased Free Spirit Equestrian approximately five years ago, and we knew going into purchasing the property that it was gonna need a lot of work, updates, and maintenance, and it has served us well for a while now. But it has come to the point where we have some big problems that we need to fix. Our farm is old, like our house was built in 1887 and our barn was built in the 1960s. However, it's in really great shape considering its age, but now it's time to invest some money into this building and fix some of our major problems. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk around the perimeter of the barn and show you some of the issues. And we're gonna talk about them in detail. And then later we're gonna talk about what our plan is to fix all of these problems, okay? Cause they are pretty significant. And it's one of these things that if you just let it go, it's gonna be detrimental. So we have to address this now. Again, we knew we were gonna have to put in some time and effort and money into the barn, but it happened a little sooner than we thought. So let's go ahead and walk around and show you some of the issues. All right, so you see the front of the barn here. The front doesn't look too bad, right? It's not awful. This is probably the side that looks the best, in my opinion. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, the front, I think, is still original. There is one side over here where they did replace some metal in the bottom uh, splashboard at one time, but pretty much the rest of the barn is where we'll see the issues that we're talking about. Yeah, but I wanted to show you the front of the barn first just because that makes sense. And, you know, just looking dead on, it's like, oh, it doesn't look that bad. But this side, this side's the worst, right, Kyle? When we first bought the property, it was bad, but it wasn't this bad. And then over the past few months, I've just been looking at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not okay. This looks horrendous. And it's not only just aesthetic visual issues, there's some structural things going on too. Now, when I say structural, it doesn't mean that the building's like gonna collapse, like it's not unsafe. But if you let it go for another five or 10 years, it could get to that point, right, Kyle? I think so. Right, so you're gonna see what we mean. All right, so these are the side paddocks, what we call them. We have the gates open right now, but you can see all of this metal. Like, look at how dented that is. Now the metal being dented is from the horses kicking it. Not gonna lie, horses are just hard on things. There's a lot of wear and tear when it comes to any equipment with horses, buildings, you know, so on and so forth. No matter how well built a barn is or how great the materials are, horses are still gonna mess it up. Like that is just the truth. The end all be all with horses there. They're hard on stuff, right, Kyle? Yeah. So this sliding door has been replaced because you can see the metal looks a little more new. And that sliding door actually fell off at one point. <laughs> we had to put it back on. Was it because it was windy? Yeah, the wind came through and blew it off. Yeah. You can see how damaged all of this metal is, and it's also faded, but that's not really the only issue, okay? You see these boards? It's kind of hard to see because of the plants and weeds and stuff. Yeah, and, so, and you'll see it in other spots too. Yeah, so the way this building, this is called a pole barn. So you have big posts, big wooden posts that are put into the ground. And then at the base of the post, they put these things called splash boards in, and these are nailed to the posts. And the problem you see with what we're having here is a lot of them, some of them are rotted out, some of them are broken. And this part actually is pushed out. So there's actually something going on with the main support post back here. It doesn't seem really rotted too bad, but it might be cracked somewhere. Maybe a horse kicked it at one point. Um, and you can kind of see the materials pushing it out and you can actually see sunlight into the stalls. So we're gonna keep walking. So this part is the smaller part of the barn. This is where the stalls are. So you can see the, where the roof gets taller right there, that's where you get into the indoor arena. The original indoor arena goes about, it's about 80 feet long. And then somewhere 20, 30, 40 years ago, who knows when, they added about another 50 feet to the back of the indoor arena. So that the back 50 feet of the barn is in better shape than the rest. But you can see the color here. This, this is the original metal from the 60s. Back then, they had different met methodology of what they thought was right to do. They used ring shank nails to hold the metal and they actually put the nail on top of the groove here. Where nowadays, if you see any modern pole barn, they, they use screws that have a rubber washer underneath it, but they put it in the flat part here. So about these nails here, like I said, they're ring shank nails. And since they were put in 60 years ago, like Shay said, when the barn was built, these actually start to pull out over time. And these are the same nails that are on the roof and everything. So if you ever have an old barn like this, 
and it actually leaks a little bit of water and it was built a long time ago, it's because these nails start to come out and the rubber O-rings on them um, deteriorate and break off. Kyle's an engineer and he's also extremely handy. So he's very conscientious about structural issues or anything like that. And he does his research. He knew what the issues were, you know, even when we bought the place. And like, yes, I knew there were issues, but one day I just literally walked out. And I'm like, why does it look like really, really bad? <laughs> he's like, well, it's always been that way, Shay. It's just gotten a little worse. And I'm like, wow, okay, so what do we do? It's easier sometimes not to remind Shay of some of the issues that we have on the farm because then she'll just make me fix them. <laughs> I already got enough projects. So. <laughs> One issue is the sand in the indoor arena is a little bit higher than the ground level here. And so it's relying on those splash boards to hold it in. So what's been happening is I've been having to put boards on the inside to hold that sand in because you'll start in the indoor arena, you'll see holes where some of it starts coming through and then animals, you know, we'll get little critters in here that come up through here and find a good shelter inside because it's dry, so. But we love animals. We do, Shay won't let me handle them. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yeah, this is so bad. And we're gonna show you from the inside why this is also a huge issue too. And you'll be able to see a little bit more inside later. But if you look at this side of the barn, I don't think that the previous owners had a paddock over here like we do. Cause you don't see as many dents on the side of the barn here, especially down there. So I don't think there were necessarily horses right against this barn, but if you look, there's also not gutters up here. So I think why those splash boards got so bad is because the rain comes right off the roof, comes down and soaks into the bottom here. So and also the previous owners used to water down the arena a lot, which I with think- With the hose to the like hose try to like dust control. To keep down the dust, which we use mag flakes, so we don't use water. With no gutters combined with the sand being wet on the inside, I think that's what help rot out these splash boards. So we're just gonna show you the whole perimeter of the barn. So I don't know what is up with all this rock here. Was this, were they trying to like stabilize it? It looks horrible, but anyways, all this rock here and you can see, I mean, this is, this is junk, this is rotted. And like Kyle was saying from rain and then aging and then time. Back in the 60s and 70s, the treated wood that they used wasn't as good of quality. So a little mix of that, plus like age and just wear and tear, you can see that's the result of it. But nowadays the wood is much better quality and lasts a lot longer. So it'll make a huge difference. All right, so like I said before, this is where the original barn ended. You can see the metal starts to change color. So before the indoor arena was only this long and then they added this last, I don't know what it is, 40 or 50 feet. So from right here back is where the new barn is. And I think the main posts here are actually good and the splash boards in better shape than what you see over here. I think that this was done maybe 30 years ago. And you can see the splash board has held up, but the problem is it's relying on the splash board alone to hold that sand up because the, the property starts to back off here. So they, when they built this addition, they had to add a lot of dirt back here. And that's why, as Shay showed you, they piled a lot of concrete blocks and rocks right here to try to help hold the barn and stabilize it. And now it's my problem. Yay! See, there's some splash board here, so that's, that's nice. So this is the back side of the barn. This metal looks very worn, very old, and it's dented and scratched up. You can see the horses happy out here. So the stuff you see on the top, it's all around the barn. This was clear at one time. Um, and this is the older stuff, so it's made out of fiberglass. It's supposed to let light in, but as you can see, uh, I think the newer stuff they have that you can buy is made out of plastic um, because it doesn't fade like this fiberglass stuff. This is all turned yellow and it doesn't let light in as good as it used to. It actually kind of messes with the horse's vision because it doesn't allow enough light in like it's supposed to because it's old and faded now. It's not uniform, so it sort of throws the horse's vision off in the indoor arena. Now we're going to go to the other side of the barn. So this is where the horses are in their main paddock, what we call, and you can see an overall visual on this side of the barn. Yep, so the horses are on this side all the time. So as you can see, you can tell the difference between the metal. This metal is a lot brighter. This is more faded than the splashboard. This splashboard, 30 years old or so, is still holding up okay somewhat but then the splash board here in the old part of the barn is almost non-existent. And the, as you can see, this is what happens. The sand just falls through. 
And if we go to some of the main posts, like I said, this is a pole barn, so it has main posts that go all the way into the ground. So what you're looking at here is this post, it's still holding it up, but you can start to see water damage down here. I can't stick a finger through, it's still solid, but that's not what you wanna see. There's getting, there's moisture building up on the inside and it's starting to rot out this wood. And there's actually some areas where the post is in very bad condition and you can't stick a finger in the post. So <laughs> that's the, those are the things where Shay talked about the barn, you know, it's not sagging, but it'll hold, it'd probably be fine for another couple of years, but you really want to fix these issues now while the barn is still structurally sound. Plus, I mean, let's be honest, it looks like crap too. So it's not only a foundational structural issue that needs to be addressed. It also just, it looks crappy and you know, I really have a lot of pride and joy when it comes to my farm and I want to do the upkeep and the maintenance that's required. All right, so another thing we have on this barn. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jafar. What's up? You guys are destructo. They are. All of you. Especially that guy. You want to know how you become a millionaire by owning horses? Do you know Kyle? Get rid of the horses. You got to be a billionaire first. <laughs> All right. So another thing that this barn has a lot of is sliding doors. Big um, ones. This is one of the big ones. So if you've ever been in a barn and you you smell like an ammonia smell, it's because the barn doesn't have good airflow. This barn actually, the way it's set up, when you open the door on each end, we have the two doors on the end by the stall, one door on the very end like we showed you, and then this big door on the side. So we actually get really good airflow through here and it helps a lot. But these doors, there's a lot of hardware that you're relying on in the door frame. And as you can see, we have issues showing up now in this aluminum door frame where um, at one point, some a big wind came through and actually grabbed this door and broke this door frame in half right here. That's insane. Yeah, so now it's relying on the sheet Ugh. metal to hold it up. So just another issue that we have with this barn. This is my buddy. <laughs> Good. Whenever I come out, if I'm letting horses in, he runs to me thinking I'm going to let him in first because I like him more. <laughs> Jiminy! Oh, only if you're doing lessons. What, Arlo? Hi. Oh, boop! <laughs> He's a good boy. I love Arlo too. He's so cute. Oh, are you jelly? Ah! The real jelly bean. Jiminy. What are you doing? Hi, baby. I love my baby. He's a good boy. You are. <laughs> All right, so now we're at the last corner of the barn. So here you can see the act, the metal actually looks really good and the top part is the plastic so it actually does let light through. So the reason it's newer <laughs> is because- Wait, pretty. we have a potty break. <laughs> Arlo. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, resume. <laughs> All right, so this is one section that the previous owners probably redid about 10, 15 years ago. They did replace the splash board. I don't know what the condition of the posts are behind here. So ideally, if we are gonna replace all the metal, we're gonna end up doing this too. And I could, I'll probably reuse this metal somewhere else. And you can see they have gutters up here. And also the clear looks way better than the backside. This is plastic instead of fiberglass. Yeah. And the splash board looks good over here too. But there's also a huge safety issue that goes along with the rotted out splash board. So of course, in the indoor arena, we ride the horses, right? So the issue with the splash board is this. I can literally see outside, like that is sunlight. And imagine a horse coming through here, their foot could slip through. It wasn't that bad previously, but like I said, I don't know if it's just because we've got more rain. So it has become significantly worse over the last few months. And that's why we knew we, we have to address this problem. It is a safety issue. It is a structural issue. It's an aesthetic issue for me too. So now the question is, what are we gonna do and how are we gonna fix all of this? Because this is significant and also a huge problem and a huge project okay so here's our plan so obviously we need to fix this and kyle and i talked about it kyle is very capable and extremely handy like i said in the beginning however this is a huge job i mean as you can see i mean this is massive we have to replace posts we have to replace splashboard all new metal sliding doors gutters like this is 
significant. And it's not something that, you know, we can draw out all summer long or all year long because this is something that we have to use every day, so. Right, exactly. Like I'm out here training and riding and filming. And then of course I have the lesson program. Like this is part of my business too. So it's not something that's like our old wood barn or our smokehouse where we can just do it when we have time. Like this, this needs to be addressed. And like I said, there's safety concerns. So after Kyle and I discussed it and went over, you know, what our plans and options were, we decided to meet with some contractors because we knew that this was gonna to be too big of a job for us to take on time-wise. And it just, you need manpower to do this type of thing, you know, in a shorter period of time. So we met with a bunch of contractors and there was only one contractor that really stood out to us. They were extremely professional. They have a designated team for exactly what we need done. This contractor was also very knowledgeable, easy to work with not pushy or anything like that. And they were able to give us a really accurate timeline, which we truly appreciated. So we decided to go with Morton Buildings for this massive barn project, and we could not be more excited. I'm very confident with my decision. I know it's just gonna look absolutely amazing. Their product quality is significantly better than other places, okay? And I'm not just saying that, like everybody in the Midwest, especially Illinois where I grew up, and that is actually where the company is based out of. So many people recognize Morton buildings when they drive by them, like that's how big they are. So as you know, since I'm an engineer, there's certain ways that I like to do stuff. And- <laughs> Very <laughs> I, particular. Yeah, I already had a way of what I thought would be the best execution on how to fix the barn. And the main thing I was worried about was the rotted post. So like I said, I'm very particular and there was a certain way that I wanted to replace the post. And Morton Buildings actually agreed with me and I found out that the method that I wanted to do, they actually owned the company that sold the product that I wanted to use to fix the post. So I was really happy with that. And when I was talking to some of the other contractors, you know, they specialized in building new buildings. They kind of, they could do some repairs on barns and they did it on the side, but it wasn't their main job. And the thing about Morton Buildings is they have a team that specializes in restoring your barns. They have a team, they have a whole method on how they fix rotted posts and then, you know, putting new splashboard on and putting new metal on, that's, that's what they do. So we're really happy with that. And we're gonna talk more about their specialized team and all of the details when they actually come out and do the work. So the big question is, when is all of this gonna be done? Well, we have known for weeks what's gonna happen you horse lovers have had no idea, so we've been sitting here and waiting, so excited about this upcoming massive project, and the materials are gonna be delivered tomorrow. And what that means is they're gonna start work basically in the next few days. How exciting is that? We're gonna get all new metal, all new gutters, all new sliding doors, and all new splashboard, plus all of the posts. I am so excited for the materials to be delivered, and I'm also looking forward to taking you horse lovers along on this incredible journey and basically a barn makeover. I think it's gonna be fantastic and I cannot wait to see the entire process and show you everything that's done here and then the end result. So make sure that you stay tuned. This is just gonna make Free Spirit Equestrian even better and more professional. And I knew it was an investment I had to make. My barn is so important to me and everything I do involves horses and this just needs to be done. So horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any updates with the barn and the final video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.